Two gradient maps for stunning colors. By applying this technique, we can infuse colors in photos to get that artistic look. Let's go. As mentioned, we need a gradient map. For the colors, I'm going to use blue as a starting color. Remove the middle point and use mid gray as our ending color. When I apply this gradient map in soft light blend mode, we already get a very cool color effect, where the darker areas are tinted in blue. However, I'm going to duplicate this gradient adjustment and use the complementary color of the first gradient map, which will be yellow. Now we can change the blend mode of this second gradient to vivid light. We're almost done. We just need to group these two layers and keep the blend mode in pass through. However, in the blend options, we need to lower the fill opacity to something between 15 and 30%. And our effect is done. Let's have a quick look at the before and the after. Pretty awesome. You can variate the colors in the gradient adjustment for different color effects. To save some time, I will duplicate the current group and change the color to get a more teal and orange look. Usually, complementary colors work quite well. Using the darker color in the bottom gradient gets the best results. Another cool color combination is the cyan-red combination, which can boost up the warmness in the photo. In order to demonstrate the effect more clearly, I used a stronger fill. But normally, keeping the fill percentage closer to 15 gets very natural results. Another variation of this method is changing the blend mode and the blend range of the group. Let me show you what I mean with another example image. I will copy the three groups I just created and paste it to a new document. You can for example use the color burn blend mode, which gets a more contrasty look. Probably lowering the fill opacity will get better results. Another good option is applying the color dodge blend mode to the group. Also, just like with the color burn, the color dodge can be quite strong, but by lowering the fill opacity we get an amazing result. For a more stronger effect, you can use a linear light blend mode. Especially when we slightly adjust the blend range and the fill opacity, the end result will be quite amazing. This is a very simple way to create interesting color grades, and they look great with this example photo, even without any modifications. Hope you liked this quick video and found it inspiring. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button, and until the next video.